From this presentation onwards, we will understand bitwise operators in detail. So, without any further delay, let's get started. In this presentation, we will understand the following topics. The first topic is introduction to bitwise operators. The second topic is bitwise AND operator, which is represented by this ampersand symbol. The third topic is bitwise OR operator, which is represented by this pipe symbol. Let's start with the first topic that is introduction to bitwise operators. So, let's first understand what is a bitwise operator. Bitwise operator is an operator which is always operated on bits or in other words binary digits. So, bits is short for binary digits. Bitwise operator is an operator which is always operated on bits. So, we cannot use bitwise operator on decimal numbers. It can only work for binary digits. So, let's see the list of all the bitwise operators we have in Python. The first bitwise operator is bitwise AND operator, which is represented by this ampersand symbol. The second bitwise operator is bitwise OR operator which is represented by this pipe symbol. The third operator is bitwise NOT operator, which is represented by this tilde symbol. And the fourth operator is bitwise XOR operator, which is represented by this circumflex symbol. So, these are all the operators we have in Python. These are all bitwise operators. Now, we need to discuss these bitwise operators one by one. In this presentation, we will understand bitwise AND operator and bitwise OR operator. In the next presentation, we will understand bitwise NOT operator and bitwise XOR operator. So, without any further delay, let's understand what is bitwise AND operator. Bitwise AND operator returns 1 if both bits are 1, else it returns 0. As bitwise AND operator is a bitwise operator, it can only be operated on bits. So, it returns 1 if both bits, both bits are 1, else it returns 0. Now, let's discuss one example in order to understand how bitwise AND operator works. Let's see this example. Here we have A as 10 and B as 5. These are decimal values. 10 and 5 are decimal values. We cannot directly apply bitwise AND operator on these values. We need to convert these values to their equivalent binary values. For this, we must have the understanding of how to convert a decimal number to its equivalent binary number, which I have already discussed in the previous presentation. If you haven't watched the previous lecture, then please watch that lecture because that lecture is the prerequisite to this lecture. A in binary is 1010, while B in binary is 0101. So, these are binary equivalents to these values 10 and 5. Now, we need to perform bitwise AND operation on these binary values, which we can do bit by bit. So, let's see how to do this. We need to write these numbers like this. And now, we are ready to perform the bitwise AND operation. First, we will perform bitwise AND on these two values. 0 and 1 will return 0. As we already know, bitwise AND operator returns 1 if both bits are 1. Here, both bits are not 1. That is why we are getting 0 here. 1 and 0 again will give us 0. 0 and 1 will also give us 0, and here also we will get 0. So, it is 0, 0, 0, 0. So, we are getting 0 in decimal, because this binary number is equivalent to 0. So, if we perform bitwise AND on 10 and 5, we will get 0 as a result. Now, let's verify this with the help of Python interpreter as well. For this, we need to open our command prompt. And then we need to type this command, a equal to 10. Then we need to hit enter. And then we need to type this command, b equal to 5. We again need to hit enter. And this time we need to type a ampersand b. Now, if we hit enter, 
we will get 0 as a result. The result of 10 ampersand 5 is 0. By default, Python interpreter always returns a decimal value. But in order to see the binary value, we need to provide a ampersand b as an argument to bin function. So this is how it looks like. We need to type bin and within parentheses, we need to provide a ampersand b as an argument. This bin function has the responsibility to convert the result obtained from a ampersand b to its equivalent binary number. So here, it will convert decimal equivalent of a ampersand b to its binary equivalent. If we hit enter, we will get 0b0 as a result. 0b is the prefix which denotes that this is a binary number. Here, there is no need to write all 4 bits that is 0000, 0, 0, 0 because single 0 is enough to represent binary 0. I hope the concept is completely clear. So, this is how bitwise AND operator works. This means we are done with this topic that is bitwise AND. Now, we are ready to understand the next topic which is bitwise OR operator. Bitwise OR operator returns 1 if any of the bit is 1, else it returns 0. Now, let's see this in action with the help of an example. Here we have A as 10 and B as 5. Again, A in binary is 1010 and B in binary is 0101. Now, we need to perform bitwise OR operation between these two values. Here we need to write these numbers like this. In place of ampersand, now we have this pipe symbol which indicates that now we are about to perform bitwise OR operation. 0 or 1 gives us 1 because bitwise OR operator returns 1 if any of the bit is 1. Here at least this bit is 1. That is why we are getting 1 as a result. 1 or 0 will give us 1. 0 or 1 will give us 1 again. 1 or 0 will give us 1. So, we will get 1, 1, 1, 1, which is equal to 15 in decimal. You can check this on your own. So, eventually, 10 or 5 will give us 15. And we can verify this as well. We need to go to our command prompt. After this, we can type a equal to 10 and we can hit enter. Then we need to type b equal to 5 and we need to hit enter. Then we need to type a or b and now we need to hit enter. We will get 15 as a result. Now, if you want the binary equivalent for the same, you need to provide a or b to bin function. Let's do that now. We need to type bin and within parentheses, we need to provide a or b. We will get this result after hitting enter. That is 0b1111. I told you already that 0b is the prefix used to tell us that this is the binary number. Here we have 1111, which is the binary equivalent of the number 15. I hope this concept is completely clear. So, we have learned what is a bitwise operator, and we have seen the list of all bitwise operators we have in Python. Also, we have understood what is bitwise AND operator and bitwise OR operator. In the next presentation, we will understand what is bitwise NOT operator and bitwise XOR operator. So, this is all for this lecture. Thank you for watching this. I will see you in the next presentation.